in this chapter we are going to see a little deep dive into the system dot set property okay so here we are using this system dot set property and we are saying like webdriver dot chrome dot driver and then i'm specifying the specifying the driver path so that my chrome driver can understand like where my driver is actually right if you comment this line comment this line and if you try to execute it will end up with an exception like uh, illegal state argument exception okay but in my case it's going to run let me show you that so i'm going to remove this line completely and i'm going to use right click run as java application okay let's see what is going to happen and here you can see that the browser still got launched and if you notice something here it says that driver version is 89 but if you remember in previous two lecture it was 90 because that is what we have downloaded here right so somehow my script is able to communicate with the driver but it is not using the driver that is available in my current folder so from where i'm getting the driver that's a good question right let us see that so i'm going to bring up my uh, this pc and i'm going to click on the right click and properties and i'm going to navigate to the advanced system settings and here i'm going to click on the environment variables now if i go little down here uh, not here not on the user variables you have to go to the system variables and if you go and little down you can find something like path if i click on the edit you can see that i have specified k colon colon driver right let's copy this value and let's go to our that folder and here you can see that i have chrome driver that is of 89 version that means my system is able to take all the drivers so here if you notice i have chrome driver i have jaco driver i have internet explorer driver so all the drivers i have placed in a common folder and i can use that across all my scripts all my editors without setting the property okay so it is not uh, mandatory that you have to use the system.set property so if you are going to use the system.set property that is fine but that is not mandatory so how to launch a browser in the sense in interview if someone asks you you should say like this one right so chrome driver equal to new chrome driver that is the actual code to launch any browser system dot set set property is like your precondition but that is also not mandatory i hope that makes sense to you and you are able to understand what is system dot set property so when i say system dot set property that means it is going to set the property in my environment variables and from there it will take pass to this particular constructor right but it, without using the system set system but set property i can configure that manually and then and then i can use that that's it for this video uh, see you in the next lecture very soon